Ellsbury from Acrylic Car Paintings. Welcome to my channel. These are the paints I'm going to be using today. They are from Montmartre Satin and um, yeah. <laughs> now here are my paints. I'm going to use Elmer's School Glue direct from a gallon into the bottle. And now I'm going to use my glue directly into my paint. So one part of paint, one part glue. The glue is gonna act as a medium and the medium is to help stretch the paint without breaking too many pigments. So as you can see, I'm gonna be working with four formulas today. So this is the very first one. I'm gonna use the same paint, the same medium, the same lubricant, and different amounts of water. So now I've incorporated the paint with the uh, glue, and you can see it's very, very thick. So when you see this, don't panic, just add some water. For this first formula, I'm going to use only a few drops or maybe half a teaspoon of water. Okay, so I wanna show you what it looks like because some of you, I've gotten a lot of emails and a lot of messages lately asking me Hey, Patty, I don't get many cells. So if you don't get many cells, the answer might be in your formula. So here it is. As you can see, it's very, very thick, even with the water. So this is formula one, very, very thick. See? Now, I'm going to mix the rest of the paints off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to add my silicone, 3 in one silicone. This is a lubricant that is used for uh, sewing machines, amongst other things. And I'm going to put one drop in each color, except for white. Well, that colored one three drops, but oh well. The idea was to do one um, per color, so mix it up. And so remember that this is a very thick formula and the silicone is kind of thin. It's not very dense at all. So now, the second step is to put the colors in the cup. So I'm gonna start with the blue and then white the white one does not have silicone and it's normally one of the denser colors so i'm going to i'm just incorporating the white in there now the orange and then Lastly, but not least, the yellow one. Gotta get the last bit of it in there. Now the yellow one. So you can see that the colors are not even sinking. I mean, this is so thick. The colors, I mean, they're not even mixing. So I'm putting the yellow in the mix in there. It's important because if we uh, put colors just without any order, then we'll end up with browns. So I'm using my little wooden stick in here and I'm going to use this part of my canvas to pour that formula in. So we're gonna do a dirty, um, yeah, a dirty cup. And there we go. Oh my gosh, this is so thick, guys. Um, okay, so I'm hoping that after you see the result of the four formulas, you will understand why sometimes you don't get sales. Now, 
after, sí, sí, after, um, um, after we do the dirty pour, we're going to apply a little bit of heat with our hair dryer here. Because a lot of people ask me, well, what if I don't have a torch? Can I still do fluid art? Yes, you can. So we're going to use here our hair dryer to show that you can still do this. The hair dryer is just going to burst the um, air bubbles. But it has to be in low and um, high, high heat. As you can see, it's very, I mean, it doesn't even run very easily. It's that thick. So, uh, but there were some cells, there are some cells that are forming in there. So I'm going to keep uh, stretching it and I'll be right back. Okay, this is how it looks. I mean, you can still see that there are a lot of cells in there, but if you're not getting cells, uh, this may be in... Um, an answer. The problem or the answer must be in your formula. Now this is the second formula, same way as the previous one, one part paint, one part um, glue, and this time I'm going to use one teaspoon of water per color. So this is going to be, as you can see, way thinner formula. And um, I'm gonna mix it the same way I did with the other one. White goes into blue, and then the yellow and orange. Just to vary a little bit, you know. Um, the other one I did orange and yellow, so this time I'm doing yellow and orange. The point is that um, the blue is separated from the orange and yellow through the white. So I'm just gonna keep using the colors I have in. Oh crap, I forgot the silicone. Okay, I'm gonna put it in here in the orange. It would help if I open it first. And okay, so orange and oh well, white, because <laughs> I don't have it in the other colors. So, but this is normally the formula I like to use that is not too thick and it's not too thin. And I have found that uh, this helps me out a lot. I get more sales. So if your formula is too thick, you may wanna use a high density, very thick uh, lubricant. And it's, if your formula is thin, then you can use a much thinner. But even in this one, I mean, even in the in the thick formula that I have at the end, I mean, look at how many cells I have in there. So, uh, but the upper side, you can see that there are hardly any cells at all in there. And the other thing too is that um, too much pain can um, crack when it dries. So there we go, I mixed, I used a wooden stick to mix the colors, not too much, and there we go. The other thing is remember to use heat right after you do your pour to help the air bubbles burst. And here we go. There we go. This is a little bit more gentle than the porch. So we can have, but don't, we can hang out a little bit in there, but don't overdo it. Okay, now I'm tilting it, and I'm already seeing some cells forming in this side over here. I wish I did not forget. I wish I had put silicone in all the colors, but oh well, it is what it is. I just wanted to show you the difference in the formulas, only changing one ingredient, just the water and the amount of water that I'm applying per formula, how it can change the results in your canvas.
So now I'm just using this uh, little cup in there to catch some of that paint and see if it helps out a little bit for later, later on. I already see some cells forming in the blue and oh, look at the cells forming in there too. Cool. Anyway, all right, as you can see, it's already working. Now, this is how it looks like. Look at that. It has way more cells than the previous one, so I'm gonna run a little bit more of heat in there to burst some of the air bubbles that are left and see if I can get a few more cells. So, have you hit the like button yet? If you haven't, now is a good time to do so. Now I'm gonna do the third formula here, same thing as the previous one, paint and glue. Mix it up, incorporate the paint with the glue, and now these I'm going to add two teaspoons of water. So, but I'm going to do it separately. I'm gonna put one first, incorporate the water into it, and this happens, this helps with some people asking me, why do I get like grumps or something in my, in my paint when it dries? Well, one step would be, because they put all the water first and then it's hard to mix the paint into. But if you do it a little bit at a time, then see, the paint gets very um, well, incorporated and it's easy to to use now i'm going to do this off camera and each of these colors i use two teaspoons and this one the white one i use three and of course this time i'm going to use my three in one oil silicone one drop on each except for the white and if you want to put it in the white be my guest it's your pour. This is supposed to be um, fun. So don't stress out. Look at that paint running away from me. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do the same thing as the previous two. So the only thing, like I said, I'm changing here is the water. The amount of water that I'm using in each formula. So, there's the white on top of the blue and then the yellow and the orange. Now a little bit more white and a little bit more blue. See, you see how runny that formula is? So what happens is when we put it in the canvas, sometimes we lose ourselves because they form too fast and then when we till the canvas, we wash them out. But it's gray or sometimes um, they form and then when we till the canvas, they deform. You see, they go all wonky on us. So I'm just gonna use this side over here because I have more paint, more space. I'm gonna use it. There we go. That's the last one. And what's next? Do I hear heat? Okay, so let's stretch it a little bit here. And then we need to apply heat. Low, in low and um, heat, not warm. So there we go, we stretch it up a little bit. Carefully, because we don't want to mess up the other uh, paint that we just poured. So, this is the part where we need to be more careful and patient. <sighs> you know, good old patient. I swear, guys, I was probably the last one in that patience line. <laughs> But still, I love fluid art, and I think, uh, and I have a lot of fun with it. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of the heat 
in here and try to bring out some cells and burst those bubbles. I can already see some cells forming in the in the yellow in there. Can you see it? Now I'm gonna catch some of this paint and maybe I can do something with it later. I don't know. It will depend. See, I see, did you see? There's cells already forming in there. So I'm just gonna continue and kind of go with the flow in here. I have to tell you, I don't like that yellow spot in the middle, so I'm gonna do something with it later on. There you go, see? You see a bunch of cells in there? So, I guess that's it. Now I'm going to show you a fourth formula using Dimethicon. So I'm gonna use a very thick formula like I use in the first uh, section of this video with very little water, but I'm gonna use Dimethicon because Dimethicon is uh, a very thick lubricant. So thick formula, thick lubricant. So there we go. Now I just wanted to show you and um, you know the different formulas because I know a lot of people just watch a lot of videos on, on YouTube. I've been there and then we all get confused. Oh my gosh, some people use um, lubricant, some other use alcohol, some other use dimethicon, some other, so which one is it? So I just wanted to show you that when we use a thick formula, sometimes we need to use a thicker lubricant. However, I do recommend the medium uh, term, so to speak, formula, where it's not too thin and not too thick. So I'm just finishing here and I'm going to put it as right next to the, see it's too thick, so I'm kind of, woo, mixing it here a little bit. I'm going to put it here next to the thick formula that I used to see the effect in here. So there we go. Look, it doesn't even move this thing. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. But we're doing this together. So we're finding things and we're just gonna use the leftover th here to cover this corner. So at the end, I'm gonna show you what the dimethicon did once I show you the, the dry painting. So meanwhile, if you haven't done so, hit that like button and I invite you to, to share. This area, I don't like it. So I'm going to use some of that white and I'm gonna swipe it. So yes, uh, I can share with you what I have learned in fluid art, but you know what? Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of the out there who still don't know and so who could benefit from this information so share the video and let's help one another is i can do it all by myself and so i'm just sharing with you and you can share with others how about that there it is guys and you know every time we swipe we need to apply some heat those are beautiful cells that are coming out and it looks so much better. I will continue work on this because you know me. And uh, meanwhile, I probably do another swipe in there. We'll see what happens. So anyway, I will continue work on this. And uh, while you guys take just a few seconds and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now, here is the dry pour. That is the, these are, this is the area where we did the thinner medium and thin formulas. And in the other side, this is where we have the thicker formulas and when it dried, they cracked. And so, and I put this uh, a golden thing in the middle to make the difference. See that one? 
so that you can see the difference. So if you're not getting sales or if your paints are cracking, now you know why. So thank you for joining me today. If you decide to try this technique, come and share it with us in our group on Facebook. Till then, keep painting.